Also, assessments aren't just quizzes. There are many options to observe and appreciate the way your students are progressing. So the Museum and Me project, the big end project in this curriculum, is designed to allow students to chart their own exploration of identity, where they will be prompted to turn their evolving private thoughts into a well-organized, synthesized bit of learning. This is wonderfully parallel to the way adolescent brains develop from life experience, taking the events of their lives and ultimately developing a synthesized and somewhat stable and enduring adult identity. We can think of their project as one of the first outgrowths of their development of an adult identity, something that's gonna stick with them through their life. If you're having students keep journals, those journals can definitely reflect different changes over time. And as a teacher, you can go into those journals if students are sharing them with you and just ask questions. So now looking back, do you feel the same about this character? So your questions can prompt in their journal more of reflection where you can hear that nuance. You can have an ongoing word web, an idea web up in the class in which the class comes back to it regularly and adds ideas and adds words. That can be done with pairs, it can be done with an individual, it can be done with a small group, it can be a big bulletin board spot in the classroom as well. And throughout all of this, and it's a wonderful curriculum for this, make time to sit with pairs of students or small groups and listen to how they are discussing the curriculum. You'll be able to step away with your notes and be able to say, wow, I hadn't heard that sort of language before.